It was a string of text messages from Sawyer to a friend that sparked this investigation. A lot of people are wondering when they're supposed to call police when they think something seems suspicious or off. And I think um, as this case demonstrates, I would just encourage the public to trust your gut and make that phone call to law enforcement. On February 11th, he messaged the girl saying he planned to shoot up his old school, Fairhaven Union High School. He had just left a residential treatment facility in Maine, where he had been for the last year and a half, getting treatment for anxiety and depression. I was really worried coming into school. It's probably one of the scariest things you'll ever do, going somewhere and not knowing if you're safe or not. On February 12th, Sawyer wrote the girl that he had been planning the shooting for two years. That same day, he also bought a shotgun and ammo from the Dick's Sporting Goods in Rutland. The girl showed the messages to police. Sawyer was taken into custody on February 15th and questioned. Police say Sawyer was considering attacking the school on March 14th. He was in my computer apps class. He was kind of one of those kids that would just sit in the back of the class, not really say anything. But there was a rumor that when he was here, he would always threaten about like coming in with a gun or shooting the school up. According to the affidavit, during his interview with police, he also stated he did not want to kill staff, just students. He planned to use an AR-15, a handgun, and a shotgun. Police also searched Sawyer's car, where they found his personal journal titled The Journal of an Active Shooter, as well as a shotgun, ammunition, books about Columbine, and a gas mask. And it's really sad that nobody was there for him and all the times that he tried to reach out or they tried to reach out for him that it was just a dead end.